Sometimes you just got to avoid <laughs> waiting for deals and just buy the dip. Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Clean Money. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Yeah, I know it's been a minute, it's been a long time, but finally back, uh, back in town. So back to uh, making some videos. I've been out of town and uh, I've been really, really busy, so forgive me. And uh, I did actually make some purchases while I was gone because the spot price of gold and silver, it hit very good low points in, in my eyes. So I decided to to buy some stuff. So the first thing that I really wanted to get because you know I'm I'm a huge, huge nerd when it comes to these and I, I do love them. And they are the Kookaburra. Love the new kooks. It's a great design. I'm gonna take it out of this capsule because I'll let you listen. You hear that? They always rattle. So uh stay right here. I'm gonna change the capsule and then uh well first I'll I'll give you a nice good close up of, of the bear coin so you can see it. And then I will put it in a new capsule. So stay right here. All right. So here we go. Here is the bear coin. Looks pretty good to me. I like it. It's a great design. I love the new font. Uh, very clean design, if I if I may say so. And uh, these are, are stunning. And they're cheaper than your Silver Eagle. So in my opinion, these are worth stacking. These are worth buying. I, I really do uh, love this this design for the kook this year it's, it's absolutely beautiful so if you're curious about this okay if you're if you wanted to know what i'm talking about changing the capsule from going to rattler to a non-rattler uh, that's important to me because i want it to stay that way and this is the same size as your regular silver eagle and check this out you hear that nothing it's in there snug as a bug in a rug so if you're wondering and you wanted to change out your capsules or they, they're you know the capsules that they come in are free so if they don't bother you then by all means just stick with them but this this to me it, it bugs me whenever uh, i'm toting around my stack and i can just hear the, the constant rattle of, of the uh, the perth mint capsules and, and it's something that plagues all of them so um just uh, keep that in mind. So I did buy some more stuff. So uh, I got the gold buffaloes out there for a reason. So so stay with me. I did pick up uh, five of these to get, so I can get the you know the free shipping. And these are the reverse proof uh, Asahi rounds, buffalo rounds. Nothing spectacular, guys, but they're the reverse proof. So I, I like these. You know they're 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 pretty cool. You know if you're gonna buy silver. Uh, why not buy something cool, something you like, something you'll keep. So picked up some of those and yes, I did. I, I bought this, I think it was last Wednesday, maybe, or, or somewhere in there. And, and uh, I got another gold buffalo. I had to do it, had to get it. And uh, it was a random pull and it was a 2021. So uh, lucky for me, <laughs> this is beautiful. I really do love these. So that makes number 11. So uh, I'm now over the hill as far as getting that tube accomplished and, and that goal set. I'm hopefully I can finish that sometime next year. And if you're curious about testing any of this stuff, guys, I know you've seen a lot of the videos lately on people uh, uh, testing with all these thousands of dollars worth of devices. And if you really just you don't want to invest in something like that, guys. You can really test out all your stuff. And this is not a paid promotion or anything like that. This is just a regular scale, okay? And I'm going to put it right here, and I'm just going to turn it on. And it's going to tell you the basics of what needs to, to take place here. And your American Gold Buffalo, like this one right here, it should weigh 31.10 grams. Because it is one troy ounce, and it's pure gold. So it should weigh... 31.10 grams and that is in grams so let's slide it on here carefully and there we go so you gotta remember it's just a cheap you know scale so that you're gonna have variances if i put it on there again it'll probably weigh something totally different let's see 
See, see what I mean? So it's, it's, uh, it, it's okay. Um, I know I bought it from a legit dealer and, and I, I'm, I'm comfortable with that. And same thing with these. If you're interested, I bought those from Bullion Exchanges and they have plenty of them in stock. So uh, I would like to get a tube of these because, you know, I've never seen these in person and they are fantastic. They're, they're very pretty. Um, but like I said, that is just a basic, you know, just scratching that itch. If you ask me, uh, I wanted to get a little bit of free shipping. So I went ahead and I bought these. That's pretty much really the only reason why I bought them because I'm really not stacking a whole bunch of silver at the moment because of the fact that the premiums are just outrageous other than, you know, as far as that goes. So I uh, got the new kook. I like these. I'm thinking about picking up probably 19 more of these because I just like them. Uh, first design like this and this font. I even like the new kangaroo design too. I mean, and I'm not a fan of the kangaroos at all, but it looks fantastic as well. So what's up with spot price? Uh, had a nice little boost, huh? Uh, silver went up, gold went up, platinum, palladium, it all went up. And, and it's starting to seem like it's going into a back back into a bull cycle. So uh, the what triggered it? It was the inflation numbers. OK, they are probably at no, there's no probably to it. They are at 30 year highs. And, and that seems a bit scary for a lot of people. And they, you know, they're going to move their, their gains or whatever into precious metals as a safekeeping, because believe it or not, I know a lot of people and a lot of people that watch this channel, they're in crypto and, and there's nothing wrong with that. I uh. I'm in crypto, but I'm not in crypto. And, and let me tell you as far as what I'm talking about. I'm in it two different ways. I'm into the, the miners themselves. OK, so what are you talking about miners? I'm talking about Riot blockchain and I'm talking about Marathon. I own both of those stocks and uh, it just it's not as risky to me as far as a cryptocurrency. I understand that a little bit better. Right. I know a lot of people, they, they don't buy something that they don't understand or they don't know about. Those two stocks were down significantly from their 52 week highs, especially Riot. So I put a bunch more money into Riot versus Marathon and they've both been pumping. I put it back in sometime in early October whenever Bitcoin and Ethereum really started taking off. I said, OK, I don't necessarily want to buy those, but I do want to get in on the fun. Because I knew that uh, crypto had one more uh, nice parabolic push coming up. And, and it sure enough did. And here we go. Um, but it's going to end. And you just, you got to have, you got to, <laughs> you got to be careful. Uh, you don't want to be caught holding the bags for, for everybody else. Okay. So the other way that I'm in crypto and, and I'll, I'll leave a link down below. It's, it's, it's pretty simple. And if you can set up a brokerage account, which anyone can do, you can set this account up and, uh, it is through BlockFi. And I've been in that since April of this year, whenever I sold all of my crypto and I sold it for pretty significant gains. And I wanted to lock some of those gains in in physical gold but I also wanted to lock those gains in on uh, I wanted to keep on gaining profit, if you know what I mean. I didn't just want to uh, just put it all in gold, pull it all in silver. I wanted to, to just keep it, keep that momentum going, keep, you know, the, the pile growing a little bit more. So uh, I put it in USDC over in BlockFi. They pay me. They were paying 8% whenever I put it in there. Now they're paying 9% APY and that is monthly guys. And that compounds as well. So it's very easy to do. Like I said, I'll leave a link down below. If you want to check it out, if you put a hundred dollars in, they'll give you $10 of free Bitcoin. Definitely something that I like what, what bank or what, uh, what industry pays you an automatic 9% on your investment right away every single month? That's something that uh, I actually like and, and that I'm going to keep doing even into the bear cycle as far as crypto, because I feel that it is a great, great way to just keep compounding interest over and over and over again. And, and it, it just makes sense to me. So I'll leave that link down below for you guys to check it out. Uh, where is this stuff going? Silver and gold? I don't know, guys. I'm just here for the ride, just like you are. I can't predict these things, but I'll tell you what. If you're bullish on silver and gold, uh, you really got to think about uh, uh, 
everything that goes along with it, all the stocks that come along with it, all the all the you know the dealers like even a mark a mark stock is way up okay Th you know think outside the box don't just think physical think of ways that you can make more profit so you can buy more physical right that's what it's all about saving that's what gold and silver is a saving and uh as long as you got either of these in your stack you're doing great guys you're not like the 95 percentile where they don't own physical metals they don't have physical savings you do here and that's what this channel is all about. But I also want to help you make some money on the side. So um, check out that link below. It's definitely up to you. This is no pressure for me, but it just works for me. It's a great savings account and it adds interest. And like I said, it compounds. It just makes a little sense to me. All right. That's going to do it for today, guys. Appreciate you watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Keep grinding your stack.